All right, welcome back to the shop. So today I got another tool. Uh, tried it out already. Uh, made a I made a video. I got to look at some of the logistics of uh, putting the video up. Uh, there are um, safety issues with these tools. Um, this is a what you can see here on the manual. It is a digital insulation resistance tester. And what this does is it will put voltage out to test resistance in insulation. It'll check for resistance leaks. Um, basically, this puts out a set voltage, and if there's a current draw somewhere, it does a calculation and tells this what the resistance is. If there's really no current loss, then it will have its maximum resistance but if there is some current loss in the circuit it will vary that resistance and tell you that there is a fault with your resistance so all that being said this is not a tool for somebody who does not know how to use it to buy um, but I am doing a quick little review here at least I'm hoping quick on this tool um, it's, it's pretty nice my first impressions of it um, I used it. Uh, I liked it a uh, fair amount. So what I did was I tested a motor with it. It worked great. Um, first I used the resistance setting. So there you, you know, go. Uh, we'll, we'll get out the leads here. Um, the motor comes with some nice alligator clamps. They have a decent size um, clip on them. They're not the greatest the way they're put on here but they're not bad um, I could possibly see that coming loose at some point but not the end of the world um, they seem to be working good right now don't be rough on them but here we go we'll put the leads in and we'll clamp the two leads together And you can see, reset there, and we go to there, we have the resistance telling us that it's a closed circuit. We open it back up, and there we go. So that worked great. I did not use the voltage test function, but it says it's a true RMS meter. It's category 4 and three uh, to 600 volts and category 3 to 1,000 volts very good I basically won't buy a meter unless it has those two specs or better um, it does have we'll just turn it to this I don't know if we'll see it but it does have a backlight pretty nice um, and you can zero everything that, that it, it has a bunch of functions I didn't completely play with everything just yet to uh, do it but um, anyway the the switch in it is very nicely positive switch uh, the other set of leads it comes with two sets of leads they have the probes and these do pull off but when you use these uh, insulation testers you really want to have as little exposed as possible that's why it's nice this has boots you can put you know what you're hooking up in there um, the I don't think these are all silicone I'm not sure what these are made of they're chinesium but they're not bad uh, they claim to be 10 amp they're uh, they're not fluke grade but they're they're not crap grade either so, I mean, this is considerably less than what a fluke costs, so, you know, you're kind of a fool if you are expecting that. I did opt for the additional uh, battery, or I should say, yeah, the uh, magnetic clip. Uh, I think this comes off. Yeah, there you go. It's just a clip-on that, it's a setup that Klein has on a bunch of their meters. I really like that option. Slides on easy. Holds well holds very well so just a quick overlook on this uh, meter 
first impressions I'm pretty happy with it um, everything works pretty well uh, I did notice when when you're testing um, on the voltage side um, again you should be very careful with these meters but what we'll do is I'll do a quick here do your initial test everything separated insulated nobody touching anything and there you go that's the full resistance of this meter now what I did notice is if you get a little quick on your push you, you, you gotta hold it a little while and then it works out so it actually tells you I don't know if you see what the voltage that it's putting out is so there you go um, if you don't hold it long enough you can see that voltage didn't get up high enough and it's not able to do the test so I confused myself the the one time again new tool not used to it's um, the way it's operating and uh, I, don't, I didn't read in here that you're supposed to hold it for a minimum amount of time but uh, obviously there is something that you should so that's the only thing that I could say there and then to finish your test on the tool before you use it you would put these two together and again they're together nobody touching anything and there you go there's your your lowest resistance showing dead short so again it's a specialized tool but it serves its purpose and I think for the money it's a it's a good alternative um, the flukes are obviously probably pretty nice uh, but not everybody's gonna afford one this gets uh, a practical diagnostic tool to properly educated people um, for a decent price uh, again learn how to use this do not um, just willy-nilly get one of these things you can hurt yourself you can hurt other people you can damage property you can you could do a whole lot of bad things with this tool so don't be um, don't be reckless with this sort of thing it's a serious tool um, banana jacks are good they go in really well have a good feel uh, has the battery door here is screw on has one of these stand things eh, I'm not really into that it feels kind of chintzy but uh, overall I think the quality of it's decent for what you're paying for I mean uh, like I say you could obviously pay a lot more and, and get a lot more but I think this has a decent amount of features for what it is it did come only the complete handsome carrying case uh, but that's neither here nor there at this point uh, but it is nice that it comes with that keeps all your cables together and what have you so there we go a little quick review I didn't mean to go off on a rant about that but this is a serious tool you don't want to just get one and play with it and not know what you're getting into you can hurt people yourself and damage things so again little review on uh, the Klein Tools insulation resistance uh, tester. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.